r slash ask reddit what did the popular kid at your school do to go from cool to an absolute outcast he got drunk and killed a family of four in a car accident that's so dark killed an infant in a car accident completely shut down during senior year wouldn't talk to anybody anymore I had a cousin who died as a very small child because she walked out from behind two parked cars into the street out front of a church. A young man was driving to church and accidentally killed her. He never drove again. Ruined his whole life. Poor guy. Ugh Jesus. That sounds like one of those situations which ends horribly for every single person involved. Blah. Yep, there wasn't really anybody at fault either. It was just a massive case of bad luck. People reached out to him for a while, but eventually I think people just couldn't keep stressing themselves over it. If there were social situations outside of school, I didn't know about them, but in school he was pretty much a self-inflicted pariah. That poor baby and poor guy, a few years after I was out of school, a kid I knew killed a baby by shaking it. I remember being several steps removed from this person but still feeling abhorrently sick when I heard about what happened. But in that situation there was someone to blame so to speak. In what you are describing, there wasn't really anything that could be done. In some ways I wonder if that doesn't actually make the whole grieving adjusting process worse. Colon. Crack. He and his couple friends started smoking crack senior year of high school. They got quarantined to themselves. Ran into one of them a couple weeks ago. He kept trying to get me back to their apartments to do meth. Well at least he's off the crack. He upgrades to crack plus. Most popular kid in my middle school was this big Samoan dude. Looked like he was 13 going on 25 years old. I remember he gained a lot of popularity when he serenaded this girl in class to ask her to the dance. He had music playing on his iPhone and he started belting out love songs while on bended knee. Later on that year he went from hero to zero when we found out he'd been molesting his sister. Drugs. You're the cool kid in 9th grade if you're smoking weed all the time. You're not the cool kid in 12th grade if you're addicted to heroin. Sent his girlfriend's naked pics to the whole school. Whoa. What a scumbag. The worst part of it was the excuse he gave. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to send it to everyone. Just a couple guys from the basketball team. He ended up switching schools. He was popular because he was a rebel that talked back to teachers and insulted them openly. He became an outcast because he made the teacher everyone loved cry. I had a guy in my class do this recently. Nobody really talks to him anymore. Killed two university students while drunk driving and then complained because she wouldn't be able to go to the bar and get drunk on her 18th birthday. How shallow and narcissistic do you have to be to pull this shit? Ducking hell. There's someone further up who killed a kid entirely by accident and went into self-imposed isolation because of the guilt. Pretty ducking shallow and narcissistic. Unfortunately I know a girl from high school who hit a stroller while plastered. She had two ducking miracles happen to her that year. One the child wasn't in the stroller the mom had pulled them out while talking to a friend and two somehow the judge didn't hit her with the book and agreed to let her keep her license and skip jail with the condition of probation. No drinking and mandatory AA. She posted on Facebook probation starts tomorrow who wants to get plastered before I can't anymore she didn't even make it one day. This kid in middle school used to talk shit to everyone. He had nice stuff his parents got him and everyone thought he was tough and could fight until one day he started on a special needs kid. Nobody had ever actually seen the popular kid fight. He just was excellent at intimidation. Now a lot of the special needs kids in my area weren't just students who were mentally challenged, but had overall learning disabilities. Many of those kids came from very tough homes and the special needs kid who the popular kid messed with was an absolute savage. He grew up in a pretty tough part of town but was really a gentle giant. He could play football. He was muscular. He could do everything the regular students could do except speak properly. A minor speech impediment. The popular kid challenged him to a one on one fight and got his ass kicked by the special needs kid. I'm talking blood everywhere. His clothes got ripped. One of his sneakers landed like 10 feet away. And to top it all off he even tried running away after the first few punches. The special needs kid grabbed him and pulled him back. It was a massacre. The popular kid not only lost all of his influence but didn't even have the guts to come back to school for like a week. 
If I ever saw instant karma it would have had to have been on this day because he was quiet as a mouse the rest of the years through high school. She tried to manipulate all her friends and pit them against each other with a bunch of catty lies. Well that in combination with wearing her pageant sash and crown to school for like a week. All girls school. There was a guy that was pretty popular. He got really drunk at a party and totally didn't know where he was. He pulled down his pants. Squatted and totally started to poop. He moved away immediately. He was a senior and I was in 8th grade. That was well over 25 years ago. Well. He friended me on Facebook a couple months ago and I kinda recognized him. I racked my brain and it came to me. The guy who pooped at the party. Poor guy. Sometimes when I'm pooping at home in my own bathroom I think. What if I'm delusional and I'm really somewhere else? What if I fell asleep at work? And I'm dreaming and pooping in my chair? What if I wake up and there's poop everywhere? It haunts me. You are not alone. I've had the same awful thought. I think it's because I have had so many dreams where I am peeing or pooping and it's in really weird places. For instance like two nights ago I dreamt I was on a toilet in the back of a truck, pooping, while the car was driving and water kept splashing my butt. You are not alone. Well, the popular girl at my school tried to ruin the life of a really sweet girl because of boyfriend drama. When she realized people were standing up for the sweet girl instead, she lost her mind. Accusing the other girl and her boyfriend of property damage. Turning on anyone who didn't swear loyalty to her. Turning people against one another. Screaming at teachers. It was a mess. The nail in the coffin was when she confided to me and two others that she was planning to put laxatives in the pastries she baked for the class. Obviously I let people know. And she became completely ostracized. She left at the end of junior year. And senior year was the most chill year ever. I don't blame you for letting people know. You can't let that shit slide. He seduced a quiet girl in school. She was really soft spoken but super nice to everyone. Basically everyone's little sister. She was absolutely beloved by everyone in her year. And he was a year older. He was her first love. And he ducked her once. Took her virginity. And then essentially abandoned her. She was devastated by it. And it broke her for the rest of the time she was at school. She went right into her shell and barely spoke to anyone. When he started bragging about what he did, everyone hated him. He even got beat up a few times because people were so angry at what he did. When people bond over hatred of another person. There was a popular cheerleader at my school that was in a bad car wreck and she suffered severe brain damage. The day she came back some of her friends, aka the popular kids, sat with her at lunch. Every day after that though, they sat on the other side of the cafeteria in their normal spot and she was with the other special needs students. They would walk past her without saying a word. As far as everyone knew, her entire group of friends completely abandoned her. I don't think she missed them though. So silver lining. She seemed to be very happy most of the time after the accident. Not so much before. This was in the mid late 80s. And every teen movie with a bunch of shitty preppies pretty much accurately depicts the popular kids in my HS. Got hit by a train. Everyone cared about him until he got out of the hospital and wasn't the same mentally. From head trauma. All the other popular kids mock him and have him blocked on social media to this day. That's messed up. Something similar happened in my high school. Kid got drunk and dove head first into a pool that was drained of water. Nearly died. Came out of the hospital a totally different dude. He received mostly nothing but support and encouragement from the whole school. Although some were apathetic due to the nature of the situation that led to the injury. She dated me. We were in speech and debate together. Both did impromptu. And we would give each other random quotes and stupid cartoons to practice with. Spent a lot of time together because of it. We dated for about 2 days before people mocked her for it and she bailed on me hard to keep her social status. She never socially recovered from the sin of liking one of the nerds. Thing is though, she then lost all her nerd friends too. That's a hard F. Semi popular. Kinda preppy kid. Tried to kill his parents by pouring vodka around their bed at night and setting it on fire because they took his CDs away. Tried is the key word here. Liquor doesn't burn that well. Graduated high school. He turned into that 30 year old dude that still hasn't gotten over high school. 
best answer to this happens between elementary and middle school. Our elementary was small, and we fed into a middle school with a much bigger school. Think 20% us, and 80% them. Most popular kid showed up on the first day, after only knowing what it's like to be the coolest kid in the small school, and tried to start shit with some random kid, who was with 11 of his friends, to show how cool and top dog he was to everyone I guess. Yep, those 12 guys beat him up, and then made fun of him for years. He wasn't cool anymore, just that fast. By high school nobody cared anymore, but he was never really popular again. This sounds like how every inside prison documentary goes down. Guy got accused of rape at a party and nobody believed the girl, and people spread vicious rumors about her and sided with him. The whole thing seemed like everyone viewed him as a victim, and he played himself up that way, until, a few months later, another girl said she had been raped by him at a party, and multiple other people at the party saw her hysterically crying and bruised afterwards. There were not so many people supporting him after that. I got away with it once, I'm sure I can do it again. Hope the girls are okay, that's horrible to hear. Wholesome for once, I guess. All popular kids in my school were complete dongheads that bullied others. This fella, king of the hill, starts dating a girl from another school that was friends with one of the bullied kids. The kid told the girl what her boyfriend does in THT school, so the girl threatened to break up with him if he didn't change his ways. He stopped socializing with the cool folks and started getting bullied by them, and none of the other kids wanted to warm up to him. He was a loner at school but he made his GF happy and he was happy. That makes me happy. He stood for what mattered most to him and it made him a better man. Got an 8th grade girl pregnant while he was a junior in high school. He eventually transferred out because everyone hated him so much. For those not in America that's at least a 4 year age gap. 17 year old knocking up a 13 year old. Got blamed for a drive by. Basically was a star track and field sprinter and jumper as well as football player. Nice guy too. A rather typical jock type. But he got along well with virtually everyone. He was definitely popular because he was extremely athletically talented though. He took the fall for a murder he didn't commit. Almost everyone knew he was innocent. He was not a violent individual. Just tied up with the wrong crowd at the wrong time. He's gonna spend most his natural life behind bars now. A true shame he had a bright future, and now he's a physically literal outcast from society, albeit not deserving. Girl in my middle school was really popular, but she was also super nice. I was a total outcast with a lot of problems, but she was the only person who ever treated me like a normal human being. She came out as bisexual, and got bullied so badly she had to move schools graduated turns out some learned the hard way that adulthood is not the same as high school that's blunt and true oh uh, well everyone else grew up he didn't and doesn't seem to want it now it's everyone else's fault 10 years later ugh this is the path my brother is going down my mother fears that he will be 30 with no education skills or job the kid just has no work ethic in him it was easy for him to cruise through high school since literally it is almost impossible to fail but when college came he got kicked out one semester in and now just does nothing she was pretty and fairly popular and near the end of the school year told everyone she had cancer we were approaching the end of grade 7 at the time eventually literally everyone knew teachers other parents other grades etc and it kind of united everyone who weren't typically friends and that was kind of cool until one day maybe a week or two in a pair of girlfriends go to visit her at her parents house and they bring it up and discover it was a hoax she pissed off a lot of people and lost all her friends after that gained new ones eventually but what a goddamn weird thing to lie about pissed off one of the other popular guys maybe by dating his ex-girlfriend i can't remember exactly how but every dude in school shut him out and he had no friends. Kinda sad because he was a decent guy and they turned on him at the slightest provocation. But that's how things were in my class. My class was known for having the meanest, cruelest cliques. We had a few substitute teachers who refused to teach our class because we were so awful. I'm glad I moved schools. That place was a nightmare. She was hired to dogs it for a neighbor when they went out of town. 
She decided to take advantage of the empty house and throw a party at the neighbor's house that got out of hand. The neighbor's daughter also went to the school and had to deal with a messed up house. Pretty big deal and the popular girl never came back. Joined a gang. Moved up the ranks. Ordered the firebombing of a rival gang member's house. Dude wasn't home but his four little brothers and sisters were. None of them made it out of the house. He'll be in federal lockup until the day he dies. Man that's ducked up. Not really outcasted. But a girl at my high school got cancer. I'm not sure exactly what type. I think it was on her lung but I remember her talking about how it was pressing against her spine and that caused pain or motor problems or something like that. A lot of people started avoiding her after word got out. It wasn't really that they were trying to be cruel or didn't feel bad for her. It was more that it was an awkward social situation they had no experience with and it was much easier to evade than to confront head on. None of her close friends did this. Fortunately, but lots of casual acquaintance great friends. I was an acquaintance great friend, but I was good friends with her best friend. So we still hung out some. That's not to say anything good about me. I'm actually super avoidant of difficult situations and totally understood why people were avoiding her. I've just never felt all that uncomfortable around people with terminal illnesses for some reason. He spilled some of the soapy water stuff from the bucket that holds the mop onto the floor. And the chill teacher that didn't care about whether you played games in class or not tripped and fractured broke his right arm. So was he purposely trying to cause such an accident? I think it was a dare. And half of the school was egging him on. Before they turned on him after math teacher broke arm. Somebody catfished him and was a short vid of him naked that went to a lot of people that most of us saw. Kinda felt bad for him but remembered he's an a-hole. Someone catfished the popular guy at my school and got him to do this crazy sexting roleplay where one of them was a gazelle and the other was a lion eating the gazelle. It was really graphic. But not in the way you would think. There was a girl that was the popular girl in school. She had all the friends and even put out an album. She was a total star locally. One day we were taking standardized tests and she runs out of the room and doesn't return. When we left the class there was green diarrhea all over the floor just down the hall from the classroom. Poor girl didn't make it to the bathroom in time. She didn't return to school that school year and moved to another town school completely after that. She married a famous NFL player and is one of these Instagram PPL now so she bounced back from a shitty situation pretty well. PLS tell me she dating a Green Bay Packer? That was rookie year. He's with the Browns now. Guy got caught with a bunch of heroin in the trunk of his car, on school grounds and was over 18 as a senior. Never saw or heard about him after that, but I'm guessing it didn't go well for him. Knew a girl, she was voted homecoming princess and all, then just decided she didn't want to do it anymore. I think she had a falling out with her friend group. Started dating a black nerd and lived her best life afterwards under the radar the rest of high school. So it was a self-imposed exile. He got a bad haircut, was teased for it and threw a temper tantrum. He literally stormed out in the middle of class. He lost his spot as king bully after that. That popularity ducked with their mind and that made them lose sight of their grades. They barely graduated. Known party girl at my school was texting while driving. She hit and killed someone crossing the street. Her father was a SGT in the police department. She went to jail for 6 months and then had to do probation community service. Not quite sure what happened after the fact she deleted everything tied to her. This was 2 days after high school graduation. Good looking football jock. Very popular with the ladies. Beat the shit out of a special ed kid. He in turn got decimated by the football team so there was justice but that dude spent 10th 12th grade as an outcast and completely shunned. My high school class had like 1100 kids. The school had around 3000 ish. He got with me. For real. He was the most popular and I was the most unpopular. He was still always popular but less so after that. Now we've been together for 10.5 years and married for a little over 8. I was best friends with the most popular guy in school for a couple years back in middle school. He was great, but the rest of the popular kids met, they were all cooler than me in my opinion. But he saved me a seat at lunch every day and we had our own lame handshake and all that shit. 
but that whole group never felt like it really fit me, aside from him obviously. So one day at lunch I decided to sit with the nerdy kids who played magic. Never really got my popularity back after that, and I think I hurt my friend's feelings because he was never the same to me after that. It was never my intention to hurt him. But that's not the sort of consequence kids anticipate. Never got a chance to reconnect with him unfortunately. Cancer is a beach and it took him a few years later. We left him an open chair at high school graduation. On the plus side, I'm still friends with some of the nerdy kids and we're in our 30s now. Magic isn't my thing. But those nerdy kids were great. They taught me that it doesn't matter what others think of you if you love yourself. He got caught cheating on an econ final his senior year, and instead of taking responsibility he dragged three other people down with him who had apparently also cheated. All four got in trouble, only that dude lost all his friends. Popular girl did anal with a popular guy, apparently he tore her a-hole and she shat all over his dong and had to go to the hospital. He told enough people about it that it got around and no one could think about her without thinking about her shitting on a guy's dong. She hardly became a pariah. But she did become poop girl. Nobody's opinion of the guy changed much. Which in my opinion sucks because him telling people about it was kind of haha. Shitty. There was also a very hot girl who told everyone about how she let her dog lick peanut butter off her snatch. But she was already considered to be weird as duck even before that. Well he wasn't the popular kid but he was a popular kid and it was a weird situation. In that not everyone agrees what happened. But apparently he sold some people some drugs and told them he had gotten it from a really trusted source and they were laced with something weird and three kids ended up in the hospital and one of them still has health issues because of it. Was a proper decent guy and footballer. He developed a persistent knee injury which cut his youth playing career short he was never going to be pro but he was the best we had. He developed a dependency on pain relief and became a massive dong to people and to his GF. Thankfully she stuck with him and with her help and persistence he got clean and a proper sound guy missing since our childhood was returned to everyone's delight. Strangled a girl to death. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bru